Hello guys, it's Chris and we are doing a react today to a vlog that Alexandra Rodriguez has just dropped um, titled Vacation Vlog, Swimming, Tacos and Boats. So um, this should be fun, uh, gets us out of the house. I'm not sure where Alex lives. Like I said, I'm very new to her. So if you do, I have people that watch her and know so much about her. Uh, let me know in the comments where she lives. It'll be nice to, you know, get out, go on a nice little trip, have a change of pace, a change of scenery. So maybe I'll skip through some stuff. Maybe I won't. But I have skipped past the first uh, intro uh, series that she does in the vlog. And we are just going to get right into this. Um, if I can give any... Uh, tips, tricks, advice, anything like that, I definitely will, be it to help her or you guys in general. Remember, I am not claiming to be a doctor. I do have medical background, but anything I say is not officially medical advice. If anything I say resonates with you, please go and speak to a doctor or a medical professional in your area always. But um, let's get into it. Good morning, you guys. I'm at the airport right now, and I'm starting the vlog in the airport quietly and awkwardly. Everyone is starting to board, but my mom and I are waiting till the end because we hate getting into that like cluster of people rushing to get on. <laughs> like, a lot of people vlog in um, the store and at the airport and stuff like that. I don't know if I could do it. I would be weird about it. I've thought about taking you guys on uh, shopping trips and stuff with me, which I, I do want to get into, uh, vlogging like that out of the house because I do want to do vlogs too. I just feel weird about it. Alex seems pretty comfortable with it. So good on her, but I just know I personally feel like an awkward person. People will be looking at me like, who's, who's this crazy woman making videos for? Nobody's watching her. And the angle is very, very close up in your face. Yikes. We're gonna board last, I promise you. Mom's in the bathroom, but we're heading to Florida. And Now, as I skimmed through this to get a couple pictures for thumbnails, all I saw was her and her mom. Um, let me know if you know. I, I'm assuming that like Yar wasn't there, no husbands, nobody else went. Was this just like a mom-daughter trip? The airport is pretty quiet, which has been nice. Or are they so, the only ones? Yeah, we're not doing all that. No, thank you. I won't lie, though. The week we're going to be gone, it's going to be cold and rainy here every day. So the timing could not be better. And the uh, weather, it looks perfect in Florida. Yeah, where does she uh, Where does she live? And my partner is from mm, the more southern, central southern area of Florida. He lived um, right in Sarasota. And he was within a short drive from Siesta Key, the white sand beaches. And uh, when I went down there, yeah, it was very humid and hot. Uh, I flew down there to drive back up here with him. So when he moved, <laughs> but uh, he is really shocked for being from Florida, how actually humid and hot it gets up here in the good old Pennsylvania. Um, <laughs> it was quite a surprise to him. So I'm so excited to feel the sun and get in a pool. Here's mom's airport fit. I can see you. <laughs> I love that shirt. Is, is this the mom that doesn't try to encourage Alex to he eat healthier? And is this the mom that's freaking diabetic? And Alex bought all the candy for and stuff for holidays and eats a bunch of junk. Oh my God. So this is, this is one of Alex's main enablers, right? It's so, oh god jesus <laughs> mom's little... not really big she's not overweight per se herself <laughs> we made it to florida yeah and look when she's out there you can see the fog the the lens fogging up and stuff from the heat and you and we're at the rental <laughs> shuttle and it is popping it is busier than it's been every time we come guys we made it to now later on in her pregnancy she will have to watch with the traveling especially um flying I don't know how often she travels, but now early on into this pregnancy, um, it, it shouldn't really be a problem. I'm sure she got the okay from her doctor, of course, right? To my room, it looked a cute little nice I know, I love that. It's such a small gesture, but it's so nice. Yeah, we've got our pool towels, got a little desk, fridge, which is great, mom. We can go to the grocery store in the morning. Of course, can't forget the fridge. And guys, look at how freaking pretty. I mean, I please don't fill it up with a bunch of sugar and crap. At least I can say like with, um, I don't know, if Alex is much of a drinker, 
I haven't seen her drink alcohol in any of the videos I've seen of hers, but at least with them, and I don't know about her mom, but at least with her being pregnant, she won't over consume calories by way of like alcoholic beverages, pina coladas and stuff like that on this trip. I show you guys this every year because it's tradition, but we're not gonna find a new place next year with the baby because it's adults only. It's 12 and up. I know. I'm sad. I, I want the baby to come here. Really oh, neat. so this is the regular trip they take. Okay. I know. I'd be curious to look back if she vlogged this in previous years and see how she's changed as far as her weight and stuff like that. Oh. But hopefully we can find something else that's just no. as cozy. No. It's because we're definitely bringing baby next year and keeping the tradition alive. So where right, in we're... Florida do they vacation? Does she say? I know. I'm asking you guys a lot of questions here. We're gonna settle in. It's like six something. So we're gonna get ready to just grab a quick dinner. There's like a pizza place with pizza by the slice. So we might just Alex, I have to tell you, girlfriend, um, you don't have a baby bump right now. It's far, far, far too early. Um, and and it's just a sad reality that when you're really overweight, it's, and it, it makes it even harder to see a baby bump, which, you know, is a cute part of, of being pregnant. I was just this like thin thing. And then my baby bump didn't really seem to show it all and then I hit month like six or seven and then boom it was there <laughs> just oh huge um but when you're bigger you just have a really hard time seeing the baby bump which is a cute part of the pregnancy that a lot of women like to show off so I know I know she's like showing in her videos her baby bump that's just that's just her food baby bump okay she's it, it's you're not going to be able to see it anytime soon sadly just do that <laughs> are we gonna want to swim tonight are you too Probably tired not. too tired yeah well if i did my toilet it might feel good i, I kind of have the urge yeah we'll see we're on our way to get dinner but of course go we have to go swim, alex it's a good low impact exercise and it's fun out the pool first <laughs> i know it smells incredible yeah. it smells like barbecue oh it's so pretty it's too warm it's amazing <laughs> like we're not gonna be like oh, I don't wanna go in. that's good though we'll be in the whole time okay we can go one step further because usually the top is oh you're scared <laughs> When you get a little too excited about the I water. So excited. Yeah, her, mom, her mom doesn't have a weight problem. Did she ever have a weight problem? Her mom's not overweight. It's a, Was Alex's father really overweight or something? It's it's surprising how Alex has so many issues with her weight. Doesn't it's not seemingly from her mom, but I guess like her mom very likely could still obviously have bad, bad food habits, which I think she does. But um yeah. Just like maybe an inch of water. It's not yeah. genetics, Alex. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. So we might take a dip later, depending how we feel. But it is nice that we came yeah, after spring ahead. Because sure. I just need something to decompress. So I just yeah, it'll be relaxing. Yeah, agreed. I don't even care if I wrap my hair. Yeah, Saturday night, the restaurants are nuts. So we're doing takeout. Oh my God, Alex, that slice of pizza is the length of your entire forearm. I Okay, listen, I know people are going to be like, she's on vacation. I know. I know she's on vacation. I'm not saying she shouldn't have fun and live a little. But the, the reality is, is she's a morbidly obese pregnant woman. That's a very high risk pregnancy recently had a miscarriage because I consider about a year ago, so fairly recent for a miscarriage. Um, you can have fun during a vacation and stuff and eat really good food and still eat healthier choices. Um, you know, get some sort of a local special salad. Um, this is like Florida. They're right at the ocean. You probably get some amazing fresh fish dishes. Oh, and shellfish. I'm sure like the oysters, clams, mussels. You know, um, shrimp, just so many things. And you're getting pizza? You could get this at home. Lauderdale? Oh, so are they in Fort Lauderdale? So mom packed her pizza. Well, okay, so this is what it's like when A, you're old, B, you're a diabetic. Yeah, oh my God. Look at all these freaking pills. Holy crap. Like, just wow and you see this is the mom that i was told by people by my viewers who watch you guys that alex buys candy for like full sugar candy not even diabetic candy and they go to the fairs and they eat the pizza and the frozen lemonade and all the carby like this woman should one minimize processed food as much as possible and two she 
she obviously doesn't have the problems with portion control that Alex has, but she should be really eating minimal carbohydrates and minimal, definitely processed carbohydrates and no candy and sugar and stuff. I mean, all those pills, that is an example of the reality of living with diabetes, even even if you're thin, like um, somebody said in a recent video, oh, you know, thin doesn't equal healthy. And I say in all my videos that I react to fat acceptance, thin does not automatically mean healthy. And well, this is a perfect <laughs> example of it right here. <laughs> wow. like, Mom, get your life together. Oh, oh, here's the metformin. I didn't feel like bringing eight bottles of pills, so I put like 10 of each one in here, except for the metformin. Holy shit, and her mom doesn't even look all that old. God dang. To every morning and to every night, so I needed four days, so I needed 20 days. <laughs> this, this is like, no, you shouldn't be laughing about this. This is like not funny. This is awful. This is sad. This is scary. This is your future, Alex. For damn sure. They're all in here together. I have to spread oh them out. I was laying God. down and the pillow was blocking. I'm like, I don't know what she's doing. And I pull it back and I just was like, oh my God. Tomorrow. I have. Well, I take a picture. And you see, do you see how Alex and her mom were just like besties, bestest buddies? Like, and there's nothing wrong with being best friends with your mom. I mean, there isn't. Um, but this is absolutely going to be Alex and her daughter. If she has a little girl, uh, definitely more of a friend vibe than a mother daughter vibe. I'm not going to show you. Why? They already saw you last night. When you were and I admit, I am like, I consider my son, my little bestie. Um, he is just the world to me. Uh, but uh, Alex, I think will pass on bad habits to her child whether it's a boy or a girl but she'll definitely be closer to a girl I think just like her mom has clearly facilitated bad eating habits and habits around food with Alex but now your hair's all wonky so <laughs> it's not that bad and it's with really Alex being bad. morbidly obese like garbage um, um, the <laughs> we're close to the rest um her daughter or, or son has a much higher chance of having weight problems the base of the music till 2 a.m and <laughs> it was like sh it shakes the room it shakes the room so first of all this was the funniest part yeah i so would before we were going to bed mom was outside for a second and there was an elderly man on the phone <laughs> and he gets up to the mom goes can you wait, wait wait what did you say i said to him, can you hear the music or i said i said does that music bother you i'm gonna mute. i wouldn't want to be in a hotel that close to the clubs and stuff to where you could literally feel the bass bumping and thumping maybe back in my party days but now i really just like a lot of peace and quiet and seclusion so yeah that would make it hard to sleep and i wouldn't want that part is, is the music always no, no no i was excited because there was someone going into the unit right next to us why does she do this angle the with the camera it's not flattering to anybody but it makes alex's chipmunk cheeks look even more uh chipmunky <laughs> <laughs> i said are you able to sleep I am. I <laughs> and he walked away. <laughs> so things are going real good down here at the hey, hotel. Nothing good. Oh, it was really bad. So oh. I ended up putting in my AirPods oh, on noise canceling and playing brown noise. <laughs> and that actually yeah, worked. I wouldn't want to be um, that. It took me like hours. I wouldn't to... want to be that close to like major clubs and bars and stuff like that. Being Sunday, it will be off. At a I'm a square though. My son, it lovingly many years ago gave gave me the nickname um, Fun Ruiner. Yeah, like his aunts were like, "Oh, you're a pea in a pod. We're at least one little peas in a pod." And all. what's mom's nickname? Fun Ruiner. <laughs> I'm officially a packing cube girly. Yeah. It has made packing so easy. I think that's why I was able to get my suitcase so full too. And then unpacking, I just. Have it all organized in the drawers so i've got like pajamas underwear bathing suits um i just opened this one it's like athletic shorts and tanks that i wear suits. like every day during the day dresses for nighttime so these are from amazon they're super cheap i'll link them they're so so good florida sun is so intense we literally have to even like do sunscreen this early you guys because i remember before we've done no sunscreen well, yeah make like sure you get a uh, sunscreen all over those uh rippling muscles alex um oh lady j cutler She's not going to live that down, that whole muscle thing. The move. I already ordered them in pink. I'm so excited that they came in time for the trip. And I'm really, really just little... taking the piss out of her, too. I'll show you the pink ones another time because I feel like they'd be easier to carefully see them. You know, and I know Alex is a little taller. Super stretchy. Kind of a little... Truth be told, 
it's like I said, I know she's not at her biggest, but the thing is, is even if she would just lose a hundred pounds and, and I'm not, and, and I'm not, I shouldn't even say just a hundred pounds is an amazing achievement. Even if you have to lose like 40 pounds, 50 pounds, maintain it, you know, lose it, keep it off. Um, it's a lot of work. I know I'm losing weight. I was thin most of my life until I hit my like mid to late twenties. Um, I know losing weight is extremely hard and frustrating, but Alex, if she lost a hundred pounds, she's like one of those girls. She wouldn't even have to be skinny or anything like that to be pretty and to be a lot healthier. When she first started YouTube, you know, she was more just like the truly thick plus size curvy girl and she was gorgeous. Um, even if this woman at this point could lose like 75 pounds and keep it off, she would look much better. She would be so much healthier. Um, yeah, but I fear she's going to main, she's going to gain like 50 to 75 pounds in this pregnancy. And I fear that anything she gains during this pregnancy, she's not going to lose. She's not going to lose it. Yeah. I'm sure I show every time. I don't even care. Publix over there. Because she just has clearly no desire to want to control her eating habits. She said, I thought that was the best. It does. It looks so pretty. See how pretty? I love the CVS because it's so, it's so, um, vacation y. <laughs> it's got it all. <laughs> it's got it all. You know, I don't even have any. I have one that I kind of put in the middle. For a baseball hat? And one that I bought in 2016. I'll just buy one, actually. The colors are great. Oh, 15? Totally worth it. All right, you guys, we're popping into Dollar Tree because last time we were here, we found some really cute sunglasses. I got um my toiletries. Let's see if she finds some. Ooh, these are cute. Okay, wide face shopping, sunglasses. Sunglasses. Tree, sunglasses. Shopping. I don't know. Do you think it's because we're in Florida? No, like no, 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 no. What's she saying about being in Florida? Alex, you keep walking. You shouldn't even be in this aisle. No, just get the hell away from the... See, and I readily admit Rice Krispie Treats, I have a problem with especially sweets and sugar. Rice Krispie Treats are one of my big trigger foods. I don't know why. There's something about them. If they're in my house, I cannot moderate them. I can't have just one. I will eat the whole lot. So I have to like abstain from them. <laughs> if I eat one, it's it's going to go south. And she doesn't need to be in this. Ow, this is all refined processed carbohydrates and sugar and preservatives and junk. Alex, get the hell out of here. Look at guys, it's like $3.75 for that. Yeah, and you know what? That's no, I don't care if it's free. They're all different. Prices. You shouldn't be in this. Oh, freaking cookies, Alex. You're just making, you're making my uh, head hurt. Oh, I didn't like that at home. Checking out the beach before we hit the pool and the beach is popping. You know she bought something though. That's the thing is like, don't even go in that aisle. She could still go on vacation, have a lot of food, have fun, but eat healthier and then not eat too excess. Like it's never this busy. Like, look at that. You see that thing there? Yeah. All that water. It provides you with an amazing array of fresh seafood that um you can't get like up in like and I live in a state where we're landlocked from the ocean and stuff. You we can get some fresher seafood brought in, but it's not like right from the ocean to your table. How's the water? Oh, it's chilly. Woo! That's chilly. It's kind of refreshing though. If the waves were good, I see, and even though mom is thin, you can see. She does have that skinny fat look, and I know she's old. I'm not dogging her, but do you like she does have that little bit of a belly? That's probably if she's on insulin, that would have something to do with it. I heard her say she's on metformin, but um, that is a sign that she still she has a little bump in her belly. That's still a sign of having visceral fat, which is not really good. So even though mom is thin, mom, mom probably still could do with losing about 15 pounds primarily from like lower sugar, lower carb eating to get rid of some of the adiposity around her midsection. And people will be like, oh my God, you want people to be Anna. You want people to be so thin. Like, no, no, her mom is not obese, but she still has that 
that more skinny fat look and she could stand to lose a little bit of weight in her midsection not muscle just some fat just like for our first dip in the pool and it's perfect it's not too not too warm but it was refreshing now we're gonna have lunch we got um stuff at Publix I got a sandwich my mom got a box of fried chicken here's my mom's and I'm sure you had a piece your your freaking mother okay I'm starting to like I feel like my eye getting ready to start twitching here about this mother and her freaking diet. Um, a box of fried chicken, deep fat. And I love fried chicken. I make good fried chicken. Who <laughs> doesn't freaking like fried chicken? But it's deep fried chicken in a freaking no doubt like trans fat in like a soybean oil or something. And, and Alex got a sandwich with bread. Like, oh my God. These two, these two are, are horrible at enabling each other like each one should be telling the other one no don't do that let's get healthier choices and 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 no like alex's mom shame on her she should be encouraging alex to eat healthier for the sake and safety of her and her baby during this pregnancy she knows her daughter's morbidly obese high-risk pregnancy why why is she just encouraging it it just seems like they both have that kind of YOLO attitude, you know what I mean? Box of fried chicken. <laughs> but we have a fridge in our room, which is so funny to me. Because it's like in a lunchbox, it's so cute. That's how they serve at a lot of places. That's they had pool noodles and mom found this cool chair. And I will be sitting in it. And she will be sitting in it. I'm going. Okay, yeah, okay. And with a nude. Back in the pool. Mom's Her mom is as bad as she is. She's just not as overweight as Alex. <laughs> I was taking a vlog clip and you're just in the background floating by. It's so perfect. This is that bathing suit from Walmart. Walmart has good bathing suits. Yeah, that's right. This purple one. I'm telling oh you. Yeah, they have a ton of good ones. Super affordable. Right? I'll link everything from this vlog down below. So don't you fret. Target, even though it's like not super pricey, it's still not cheap. No. It, no joke. It does look relaxing and refreshing. I haven't been on a vacation in so many years. It really makes Target, me want to go on like one. But I've got sleeping. things to do and eventually I will go on one. I've never got to take my son on a real vacation and I, I want to save up and take him somewhere. Like the last There's time a couple places clothes, I, I wasn't go, feeling but yeah. I don't <laughs> typically like when I think of vacation, I don't think about this. This would be nice, but I more want to go like I'm one of those weird people that wants to go to like the Upper Peninsula of what of of uh, Michigan or the Pacific Northwest to go see the forests and the redwoods and go mushroom foraging and Bigfoot hunting. You know what I mean? Like uh, that kind of stuff. But but this would be nice too. Yeah, Walmart's been doing good though. One of my places I, I used to like to go was Ocean City. Pregnancy safe sunscreen, live, laugh, love. Maryland. I bought this one because I wanted a spray. I wanted a spray. Don't. I'm not. This, this is not good. <laughs> so I'm not, I love your other stuff, but this leaves such a white cast. And it's like thick and like greasy. I don't know. I really am not loving this. I'm going to finish it because it was like $15. <laughs> but um, it's just like my whole box is pregnancy safe. There's no one. So. Hope for me. I applied SPF all day. My chest. She is very fair, though. My God, she definitely burnt. Well, she is fair. And, um, like, she didn't go do any type of base tanning and a tanning bed or anything like that. Yeah, you're going to get right like that. Can oh, be girl. only my chest. That probably my hurts. My arms. Just my chest, so. I feel so bad for her with her acne. It's, it's probably, like, people say hormonal acne. It just looks so like inflamed and painful i had bad acne when i was a kid and it can hurt really bad my partner has i'm sure he loves me sharing all his info he knows i talk about him and stuff but he readily admits he's got really bad like acne on his back and he gets the cystic and it hurts it's like so painful and i feel so bad i have to whip up a i used to make a really good soap for uh acne and just skin conditions and um my uh former soap making partner and i worked really hard to formulate that soap and it really helped people it was requested that we make something for somebody who had really bad eczema and we worked really hard to formulate that soap and it really helped people with their skin condition not saying it's healing anything or whatever but it did show big improvements in in like skin conditions like uh, like eczema and psoriasis and dermatitis and i think i'm gonna try to pull out that recipe and make that again but add something like maybe pine tar or something like that to uh see if it will help with his his acne because it's just so painful it doesn't hurt. and that's exactly what alex's face looks like hours before that's like the perfect day you know you get up you do something go to the pool 
for a few hours. We went down to the beach a little bit, come back, <laughs> shower, lay down for a couple hours, get ready for dinner, go to dinner, take a nice walk. That's the typical plan, the typical schedule. Oh, I think it's because it was the first sun exposure of the year. I need to, I don't know. I'm trying to think, like, where did I go wrong? Don't know. Let's just hope it looks better tomorrow. <laughs> okay, here is the makeup that I packed for the trip. I kept it pretty, pretty darn simple. I mean, it probably doesn't look like little, but yeah, I can't get on her for like wearing a lot of makeup and stuff. I'm a heavy makeup wearing kind of girl I always have been I don't put it on as much now because I'm just lazy about it but I like a drastic dramatic makeup look Base. um I actually oh my god I, was I honestly no joke don't know how to use the filters too much um I have like a cheap phone and a cheap webcam so usually when you see me unless I've like put a filter on a picture to give it a fact or something I don't have access to these freaking slimming filters and all that crap um I don't know how to use them <laughs> I just like I, I I don't have like an expensive vlogging camera or any type of camera that has those type of like filters for videos and stuff like that built in it's not thinking pregnant but and brain. This I, I don't mind the, the makeup and stuff that like that okay. at least Alex uh, still looks like Alex Alex like a much better version of herself but at least she's not like foodie duty who actually makes herself look like a completely different person her and Amber like color science which is gonna be too light as well okay okay um okay so we've got our learning and i do liner. think when alex puts all her okay, makeup and her stuff on stick, she is pretty she used to be so much prettier before she got that really bad chin yeah. really job that. and Tart stuff concealer and she was thinner and you could see her sticks, features conceal like that's the thing about when you're extremely overweight i'm just like talking punch. over her when you're extremely overweight it will actually just really hide your true facial features, your jawline, your cheekbones and stuff. So people like Amber Lynn, who is like so big, you really don't 100% know what she actually looked like, looks like underneath all that fat. She's just got that moony face. Um, and you just, you can't tell what she really looks like. At least we know what Alex used to look like. Is Don't want to know. God, Alex, see, like, she, right, that's a cute outfit. I like her hair like this. I like her makeup. But, um, she absolutely should have stayed with her original clinic, not the one who's freaking butt kissing her now. She could have absolutely only gained 10 pounds during this pregnancy, which, FYI, because of the weight of the baby and the fluid and all that, would mean she would be basically maintaining her weight or losing a couple pounds during this pregnancy. It totally would have been possible, but she knew she was going to use this pregnancy as an excuse to just eat all the goddamn things. The hair is doing its thing, the makeup. We got and that's down. really sad that she, it, it, it really gives people the impression that she's prioritizing her cravings and food and stuff over the health of her and this baby. I want to be crap out of my skin too. Because the other clinic would skin. not have suggested her only gain 10 pounds if it was unsafe. You know what I mean? And blend in my foundation. Mom put on her press on nails and they match her lipstick perfect. See, and you can see here, Without the smoothing filter and stuff, you can see the texture from the acne and stuff. And I give her credit. She does a good job of uh, layering on the foundation really thick to um, hide the acne, but you can still see the texture. And I know when you're on camera or you're uh, performing on a stage or something, you tend to do heavier makeup for the effect for the camera. Perfectly. Look at how perfect. She's got the matching lipstick and the nails. I, you know what? I'm, I'm like really angry at her mom. Her mom is really just annoying the holy shit out of me in this vlog. I'm not even kidding. She's got a margarita. Her I've mom is some horrible. And I mean, it's great. They're fun and, you know, having a good time and buddies. But right there, too. Mom, freaking diabetic with tons of god dang medicines, problematic, visceral fat, sitting there drinking a margarita. Good. Tomorrow. By the way, margaritas, daiquiri stuff, some of the most highly calorically dense and sugary feel filled drinks you can drink. Good morning, you guys. I could not vlog outside because it was so loud. With the I can I can totally see if this is how her mom's always been. I I can see why Alex has problems with with food and, and eating. 
but my mom is currently getting a pedicure i'm back at cvs getting more shampoo and conditioner because I got good let her get that pedicure and enjoy it while she can because you know what when they start lopping off toes because of her freaking diabetic problems well she isn't gonna have toes to to pedicure so you know live it up now mom apple size one and i used like half of it yesterday so i'm trying to find like the smallest kind i can get for the rest of the trip so i wash my hair like every day after the pool i'm also getting this for my mom because she loved it yesterday and didn't buy it for herself and i'm getting a different sunscreen and then i'm gonna walk over to Publix and do some Publix, but i just love it and i wish we had them at home okay we're gonna get some stuff to make yogurt bowls for breakfast and freaking alex alex granola yeah it's okay in small amounts i've had this actual oats and honey one i love it but you know what it's got a ton of sugar it's a ton of processed carbs you you don't need this alex Good god morning. damn and also, your mom sure as hell don't put those things down you don't need a freaking cheese it they're full of trans fats processed carbs attic you you don't need this alex what the shit these look so good i have to get them for the poolside snackage oh you have to get them for the poolside snack oh my god okay yeah get some nuts for some protein my mom and i yeah you could have some nuts like do the nuts don't get the sugary ones but yeah something like this would be good a little snack weigh it out measure it out you know at least measure it but um get this not the freaking granola and certainly not the goddamn cheez it's of the smokehouse almonds okay these look so good gonna get these for you yeah some strawberries berries are some of the best fruits you can eat more just tons of nutrients uh higher in fiber lower in sugar lower in carbs they're they're really good for you i mean get these and the nuts and, and by the way this for snacking on top of other food that bolt that thing of nuts and this box of strawberries would be enough for her snacking for the whole week um but she didn't need that other crap yogurt get some yogurt okay, no mommy. this light and fit is crap jesus i love the smokehouse almonds okay these look so good make these me so yogurt. bad that light and fit can still have a lot of sugar and, and sweet to it. She'd be better off. Do you see? Get get like that next door, that 10% or two fat, 2% 2 low fat plain yogurt, Greek yogurt. Get that and put some stevia in it for a little bit of sweetness without the sugar, mom. And um, then chop up some of the strawberries and stuff like that. And then have the nuts on the side. It's a good protein rich snack without the excess carbs and sugar of course she gets the freaking dan and light and fit it's some yogurt okay man mom I, I i call that light and fat honestly because th that's not the best ones it needs half and half so she can make coffee in our hotel i'm waiting for my mom now and i could just sit here all day i put all the groceries in my backpack to make it easy guys look at they and that was a big thing of half and half for like just a week um yeah Watched her oh nanny perfectly. perfectly right like i said mom those toes look really great enjoy them while they're still there because they're gonna have to chop chop a couple of them off if you keep up your freaking dietary habits. Top of my foot. and that's not i mean i'm not being mean that's a reality it is a possibility and i don't want to see that happen to her oh yeah you're red you see it? i do she's been walking down here it's a 10 minute walk 15 minute walk yeah yeah at nine o'clock in the morning the sun's up strong girl what <laughs> Feel how heavy this is. <laughs> Alex, be careful carrying stuff that's like too too heavy. Like I'm, she hasn't said anything yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if she does get put on like lifting restriction and stuff like that. I didn't buy that much, but it's heavy stuff. Your cream is heavy. The cream is heavy. The yogurt. Is a big one or a small one? They didn't have any small left. Wait, you didn't get like the big big. One. No, just a tall skinny. Tall, skinny. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that a fork? Yeah, that's. A I don't know. <laughs> Oh, but then I had to buy shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> Got you a widow present. Me too. What'd you get me? What'd you get me? Oh, the Miami hair. <laughs> I, I, I get the idea that mom hey, likes hey. to shop and spend and consume as much right. as Alex does. Because okay. you didn't buy it, right? I did not. Yeah, I love it. Uh, Woo! Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna get some Miami hair. Oh, Miami hair. Oh, Miami hair. Oh, Miami hair. Like, oh my goodness. Like, yeah, this woman has almost no muscle mass on her, but she's claiming she's heavy because of muscle. Do you see what I mean? If Alex even lost 75 to 100 pounds a 
actually lost that. I don't believe she lost that much after her surgery. Um, she would look a lot better and she would be a lot healthier. She, she would still be probably in the high end of overweight or obese. Um, but she would be much better off and it would, she would have been better off to lose that weight first before she got pregnant. But here we are. So it is what it is. Um, she should at the, like I said, at the very least be trying to maintain her weight during this pregnancy. All right, you guys, now we are at the pool, back on the routine. You know, the drill is very bright, very windy, but I am tanning my arms, my face. Eating all those snacks. And my legs. Oh <laughs> and covering my chest. My sunburn's a little better today, but we still got a, a ways to go. And I notice, you know, she's eating a lot more and more, many more times than she's actually showing us. I think she's probably limiting that in this vlog because she knows the shit she's going to catch. We are from people from from jerks like me we go down by the water it is freezing the clouds are in and it's really really windy so we put on our sweatshirts we're gonna go sit down by the water and just chill and chat hang out we won't let any wind ruin our good time all right you guys we are headed out to dinner i did some very light makeup i wasn't feeling my hair so i put on my hat and I tried to like what did we call it what do you call it called sportify it. It. sportify the outfit so this dress is also from amazon i found so much good stuff lately i paired with my denim jacket my bag and then my bourbon socks and i love it is this a like that's a cute outfit i like it it would just and it looks comfortable which is kind of you know when you're walking around on vacation and later on in the pregnancy when you do have the belly and stuff um uh it, it would be comfortable um uh, jesus I love it. I'll steal it. It's short sleeve, low collar. Um, it's super like loose. I just wish this woman would actually get her head in the game and, and get out of this. I mean, fat acceptance and haze has really, it ruins people because Alex has totally just drank the full sugar Kool-Aid that they, they push and it, it's it's just it's so problematic for her knit and comfortable actually you can dress it up or down so. and they can't even yeah, see so that that's the worst we're gonna try part. a place for dinner we've been here like a million times but never actually ate here like we walk by okay, it we've walked by twice no but in the past twice we haven't walked it's by really twice last year. no it's not what was it before something that wasn't taco Bell. really but the last time we walked by there was this band out front <laughs> it wasn't like hardcore stuff but it was very loud yeah mom live we are big babies stuff. we're easily like, overstimulated i might get those but everything looks so good. It's so good. And they I'm just looking. Snicks, chat, snacks, chips and dip. They have birria tacos. I might get those. But everything looks so good. Oh, that looks... Well, that birria tacos. I might get those. But everything... Taco platter, fajitas. Looks so good. Oh. Jesus, Alex... This is like a big greasy mess. I'm sure it's freaking delicious. No joke. I love a taco. But did you see they had fajitas? She could have got the fajitas with a good meat, like or a, a fresh fish or some steak or chicken or shrimp or a combo. Lots of uh, onions and peppers and stuff like that. She could have told them, hey... You know, can you, can you just saute those up, you know, light and, and, you know, without the oil or something like that. And then she could have had the fajitas, a couple fajitas and, um, with all the vegetables and the good protein, um, some salsa, maybe a little bit of sour cream or guac for, for taste, or she could have actually, I'm sure they could do, uh, like a fajita salad or something like that, or just ask for a big plate of the meat, big plate of the veggies, say, I don't want the fajitas, ask for one solitary tortilla, you know, just for, for taste and, and, you know, for enjoyment. And she could have just eaten the, the, um, a huge portion of the, um, fillings for the fajitas with some like I said salsa a little bit of sour cream maybe some of this sauce without um nearly as many calories not nearly as much grease uh you know what I mean and this this is not going to fill her up who 
don't know. That looks well, that's they, like, legit. Well, they fry like it. I said, it's probably delicious, but it's not that great. Like, skip the refried beans and stuff like Shoot. that. That's why it's, like, amazing. And well, I hope you're full out. And there's mom, just carbs on carbs on carbs on freaking carbs. Like, Jesus, tap dancing, Christ. And like the rice, skip the rice. One. You want one of them? This is an example of it. you could go out to eat while you're on vacation or at home and just make better choices. And people, you know, she might go, oh, well, that's not as much fun. It's not the same. Okay, it's not the same, but you're pregnant and you're morbidly obese. You need to decide what is more important to you eating certain things or making changes that are going to be the smarter healthier decision they look so good and then here's mom's fajitas and rice there's no way all alex ate was those two tacos because i'm telling you that that would not fill me up in the least i mean like i said mom got the, the fajitas alex could have got the fajita filling and just ate all the filling i'm sure they probably do some type of a salad and beans oh delish so i'm gonna try it with you i did put a little bit of lime on it dipping it but oh i mean God. look at how like greasy um, mm. that is. all oh right guys God. we are back in the hotel i'm actually doing some editing for this vlog that you're watching dinner was ridiculous so yes it was ridiculous alex i do admit i agree with you on that good probably like the best i've had honestly like i wish that we had a restaurant at home i texted her i'm like I no 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 you don't need that at home if you like it that much i need to bring them here leave it in florida we gotta get on plane <laughs> gotta bring it here it was fire so and, and like i said i know there are people who will be like you're being too hard on her that's unreasonable no it's like you have to pick your heart sometimes we're definitely going back at least one more night for the next few nights it's of course so good. you are um, of of course you are. Um, but we have a boat ride in the morning, which I'm... Gotta maintain that physique, right, Alex? Oh, my God. Stoked about. We do it every time we come. It's so pretty. We have the tickets for 11, and then it's in a different area, so we'll probably grab lunch over there. But I'm super excited, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. It's the next day. We are on our way to... I think she looks cute with her hair like this. I do like it. I wish I... I need to like take the time to do some more with my hair. I just generally don't do much with it. Boat tour, the boat cruise. Um, it is so pretty. We do carry B cruises in Fort Lauderdale and it's just, it's so pretty. And it's near Las Olas Boulevard, which is like just so fun to walk down after. It has like shops and restaurants and yeah, we're on our way there now. We yeah, and see, this is a nice vacation where she could, she's getting a lot of exercise by way of walking and stuff. It's just, if she would have just stayed on point with her food, um, she she could have like actually lost a couple pounds during this vacation and still eat, ate and amazing so she has still coffees. eaten amazing food or the boat ride i have on like a tank and more of those amazon shorts that i love the pink pair but i'm hoping this will keep me covered if we end up sitting in the sun i put a bunch of sunscreen on my legs but it does get a little bit chilly on the water so i think having this button up over will be pretty good i did these kind of faux braids a little bit of makeup um we got ready pretty quick we slept in today so i think my mom and i my mom got kind of burnt yesterday i ended up burning my legs a little bit my chest is doing much better, though, as you can okay. see. Made it with, like, one minute to spare. Beer, wine, mixed drinks, frozen drinks, sodas, chips, cookies, and more. You'll also find big one. Chips, soda, cookies, and more, and frozen drinks, I'm sure. And there her mom has a freaking probably full sugar coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. She's holding something from Dunkin' there. And there's no way they probably didn't get donuts or something. And you know Alex definitely got something too. Her mom is a very bad influence on her. Just like Alex is a bad influence on her mom. They're, they enable each other. We made it on the boat and we got seats in the shade. There was like one spot left in the shade on the side. This is nice. This is lovely. Oh my gosh, look at that beautiful house. Yeah. So we just finished a boat tour, now we're gonna walk on Las Olas Boulevard, find a spot for lunch, and I'll show you guys how gorgeous it is. Oh, I love this. That is pretty. I like all those plants on those rocks. We'll strip pretty much and came back to the first spot we wanted to go to. We are at, I don't actually know what this place is called. It's an Asian bistro. What's it called? Oh, Red Door. Red Door Asian bistro. Mom got, you got sushi. And Asian, you can, yeah, get sushi, get sashimi, get, you know, a, a, a meal of sauteed different vegetables and uh, proteins, like, shrimp tofu all kinds of stuff you can get some really nice sauces at asian uh restaurants i just just get it on the side and that way you can especially if it's like a real sweet sauce like a sweet and sour she should probably avoid that but if you get it on the side you can drizzle a little bit on and and then that saves you a lot of sugar and calories i got some general's chicken and it's but of course of course alex got the deep fried breaded general sauce chicken you guys how cute 
look at this. Yeah, like you can just tell how sticky and sweet that sauce is. And three lonely little token broccoli spears. These little chicken skewers for General's chicken. It's adorable. Mine. Where's the rice? Mom got some sushi, but there was something else they ate. Again, even though sushi is healthy, mom has got to watch with the carbs from the freaking rice. And then some of that sushi is deep fried. You can see it's like tempura fried shrimp. Um, maybe get some sushi and like split it with sashimi. It's the next day after the boat. At the very least, don't get the goddamn deep fried sushi. Ride. Um, I didn't vlog anything else yesterday because we were both just... Okay, like this is the end. Um, anyways, this was fun. <laughs> uh, frustrating as far as the two of them with food and eating habits. But it was really nice. It looked like a nice vacation. The scenery was nice. Um, Alex, you know, did a good job of like showing different areas and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it looked like fun. I'm glad she had a good time. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh just, I guess, like and subscribe and uh, follow for more. Leave something in the comments for the algorithm if you want. If you don't have anything to say and you want to leave a, uh, since I got on her so much about eating the fresh seafood and fish, <laughs> she should have been eating on this vacation, leave a fish emoji or something in the comments. But um, I will get this uh, uploaded and out there for you. I have a couple more things to work on today. And then I will see you guys in the next one. So have a good one.